All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. We're back for more reshade nonsense, where I can be like, oh yeah, we uh, we got this cool reshade technology, but gosh darn it, Larry, it lags my pants off, or it causes some other issue, or I just don't want it anymore. I would really like to know how to remove this from my computer. Well, I will show you how to do that. Uh, I'm just going to exit out of The Sims, and then I will show you by just using the same installer that you used to install it in the first place. So, in general, the easiest way to remove Reshade is to just remove it from the game by using the same installer that you used to put it in in the first place. So to do so, grab whatever Reshade setup tool that you used originally. I'm pretty sure you can use a new one too, but it's best to just use the one you used to install it. Double click on it and then it'll warn you that it's bad to run this on multiplayer games because it could get you banned. And then from there, we will go back to our folder where we have The Sims installed, if you're having trouble finding it. Go to your EA app or to, to Steam, and then go to the properties of that game, and it'll tell you where it's installed. You can browse local files on Steam as well. If you don't know how to browse local files on Steam, check my channel. I have a guide on how to do that for the latest updated version of Steam when they redid stuff back in June. So I'm going to click on Browse, I'm going to go to Game, I'm going to go to Bin, and then it's right here. So I'm going to go back to the top, I'm going to copy this file path location, and then I'm going to minimize all this stuff. I'm going to go to Browse, and then we're going to pretend like I don't already have it browsed open, and then I'm going to paste it at the top, and it'll take me right to where it's located. I'm going to select my Sims 4, which is TS4 underscore 64, which stands for 64-bit. I'm going to hit open, and I'm going to click next. From here, it's going to ask me for permission to make changes because I'm going to, you know, admin permissions and all that. Go ahead and click yes. Sims 4 runs off of DirectX 9. Uh, I don't know if this matters, but it's good to know what graphics the game that you've got it installed on uh, uses because that's the best way to make sure it uninstalls correctly. From there, I have some, op um, some options. I can modify the install to remove presets if I want. I can update it from an old version of Reshade to a new version, but what I want is the uninstall feature. So I'll click on uninstall, I will click next, and then it's actually a lot quicker than the original because all it's doing is just deleting all of its files from Sims 4. I hit finish, and that's it. You're done. I will say, if you open up your Sims 4 uh, bin again, you're gonna see stuff like leftover reshade stuff in there. It's not currently in use, so you can just go ahead and delete it if you want, but it's not gonna do anything and they're relatively small, so I wouldn't worry about it. But if you want, you can go through and if you find any leftovers, delete them. Not a big deal. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a look at how to uninstall reshade from your games. This works with pretty much anything, but this is specifically for The Sims 4. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.